This is the CBS Evening News. But for those who have cancer and who are looking for success in this field, they at least can have the assurance that everything that can be done by government, everything that can be done by voluntary agencies in this great, powerful, rich country now will be done. To have this many members of the House and Senate uh, who are members of the committee back here shows how deeply they feel. In the early 70s when I entered cancer research, it was actually a very heady time for science, but we very rapidly learned that cancer is not just caused by a single agent and it's not just a single disease. When the National Cancer Act was signed, we had limited knowledge of this dreaded disease. Treatment options were few, but because of cancer research in the last 40 years, we've made great progress. We're revealing the drivers and pathways underlying cancer and its complexity. We are harnessing decades of basic translational and clinical research to accelerate breakthroughs. Now we're able to target specific pathways and are bringing in new technologies to save more lives. Advances in prevention, detection and treatments mean patients are living longer with a better quality of life. They have new hope. There are more than 13 million cancer survivors in America today. Global experts spanning the spectrum of research are collaborating in unprecedented ways, changing how we conduct cancer research. The life sciences, physical sciences and engineering are all converging. The 40th anniversary of the National Cancer Act is the time for policymakers to reinforce their commitment to conquering cancer. It will launch a new effort to conquer a disease that has touched the life of nearly every American, including me, by seeking a cure for cancer in our time. Our dream of conquering cancer, once dim and distant, is turning into a reality. But we still have much work to do. I can only imagine what the future will bring. making it happen.